Hello everyone, I thought I'd upload another video. It is another one which has been on my Paul Goddard NLP and hypnotherapy. However, there's more people on this channel that are really interested in past life regressions. This video you're about to see is a past life regression with Lindsay from Ghosts of Britain. I hope you enjoy. One, two, three. The door opens. Just let me know what you're aware of as you sense and see through that door. A big grand piano. Very good. Allow yourself to walk into that room now, or where that grand piano is, and allow the door to close behind you. Describe to me what else you can see in this place where there's the big grand piano. It's a big table, very grand, very posh. Very good. I want you to look down now so you can see your, see your legs to help ground yourself and to see what you look like from, from as you look down. What are you aware of now? Dress, beautiful dress, silk. Silk. When I count to three, I put my fingers, the name will come to your mind of what you feel your name is within this lifetime. One, two, three. What's your name within this lifetime? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Very good. And how old do you feel you are right now, Elizabeth? Thirty. Thirty. Okay. And what you sense in, what do you feel you do in this particular place, Elizabeth? What do you feel your role is there? Just live there. You just live there. Nothing. Okay. okay. When I click my fingers, you'll be able to tell me what your, feel your surname is within this lifetime. One, two, three. What do you feel your surname is within this lifetime? Just... Bo Booker? Booker. Yeah, something like Booker, that's okay. Now what I want you to do, Elizabeth, is to just find a space within this lifetime when I click my fingers to where you're looking at yourself, either in a mirror or reflection, so you can really fully get to experience what you look like that time now, what, what you're looking like in that, that reflection or in the mirror. Very elegant, a lady. Okay. I'm going to click my fingers and you say to me what, you f what year you feel it is. What year do you feel it is? 1875. Okay. So it's around 1875. Okay. We're staying within this lifetime, Elizabeth. We'll go to a very happy memory. One two, three. It's a very happy memory within this lifetime. And describe to me what you're experiencing. Horse riding. Horse riding. Very good. You say you're horse riding, do you feel you're riding the horse mm. watching it? Okay. And describe to me where you feel you're riding right now. What, what's the, the area like where you're riding? Just, just, just trees. Trees. Very good. Well, next count of three, I'd like to know where in the world you feel you are. One, two, three. Where in the world do you feel you are? England. England, okay. Countryside. In the countryside. And next count of three, where you feel in England you live. One, two, three. Whereabouts in England do you feel you live? South. South, okay. So you can get more information out a bit later on where you live in the south. If you're on the horse and you're riding at the moment, do you feel there's anybody else that's mm. with you at the moment? Who's with you at this moment? My husband. Your husband, okay. What do you feel your husband's name is? Charles. Charles, okay. So you're with Charles. What I want to do is, when I click my fingers, I want you to go to your time when you got married, your wedding day staying within this lifetime. One, two, three. 
It's your wedding day within this lifetime. You describe to me what it looks like where you are right now. In a grand house, a hall. Okay. Who are you aware of with you right now? Charles. Charles. Do you feel there's anybody else with you right now? No. Okay. Describe to me how Charles looks. How do you feel Charles? What, Charles, what does Charles look like? Handsome. Handsome, okay. How, how is he dressed? How do you feel that he's dressed right now? Riding boots. Okay. And red jacket. Riding boots and a red jacket. So you're in this hall right now, and you said that you you feel that you're you in England. You're in the I can't remember exactly where it was you were, but I'm just going to see if you can get where the name of this hall right now. So one, two, three. What what's the name of this hall you feel you're in right now? Is there a name coming to you? No, that's fine. Um, oh. No. Okay. That's all right. It may come up later. So we now go to a point within this lifetime when you very first met Charles, because before you got married. One, two, three. A time within this lifetime when you first met Charles, and describe how that happened. Just, just out walking. Walking. Okay. Where do you feel you're walking right now? Describe to me in, where you feel you're walking. In, in the grounds of the, in the garden, the grounds. Okay. The grounds are in there. If you, from where you are right now, can you see where you live at all? Mm. Okay. So if you look to where you live right now within this lifetime, just describe the the building to me. Big, big staircase and windows, lots of windows. Okay, very good. And whilst you're walking with Charles, do you feel the two of you just alone? Do you feel there's anybody else with you right now? That's no, just the two of you, is mm -hmm. it? Very good. Staying within this lifetime. I want you to go to a time within this lifetime that you feel you learned a valuable lesson that may help you with any future lives. One, two, three. A time within this lifetime that you felt you learned a valuable lesson. Describe what that, that is. Trust. Trust, okay. Do you feel you can share any more with me right now about that trust? No. Okay, that's fine. We now move further forward in time, because you said you're in your 30s. We'll move to when you feel you're around your 40s, staying with this lifetime. One, two, three. To your 40s. And let me know what you're experiencing now. Okay. Nothing. Nothing, that's fine. I'm now going to click my fingers, and you'll go to your very last year within this lifetime. One, two, three. It's your very last year within this lifetime. And describe to me what you can sense and experience right now in your very last year. Christmas time. Christmas time. Okay. Who's with you right now in this, this Christmas time? Who's about? An elderly lady. An elderly lady. This elderly lady, who do you feel, what do you feel a connection is to you? You're not sure. Is there anybody else with you right now? Okay. Can you describe this elderly lady? Just dark hair, like, like a maid. Okay. Very good. I'm just checking in. 
on the count of three, how old do you feel you are right now? One, two, three. How old do you feel you are right now? Thirty-six. Thirty-six. Okay. We now move further forward to your very last day within this lifetime. One, two, three. It's your very last day within this lifetime. What are you aware of now in this, this very last day of this lifetime? Just alone on a, in the big bed, just alone. Okay. This big bed that you're in, do you feel this is in your home or somewhere else right now? Home. In your home, okay. Do you know why you're in bed at the moment? Okay. If I get you to look back from this moment over your life, do you feel you had any children within this lifetime? No, okay. Are you aware of Charles still with you in this lifetime? No, okay. I count to three and click my fingers, you'll be able to tell me what happened to Charles in this lifetime. One, two, three. What happened to Charles within? He was... <sighs> okay. Be able to tell me after. Now to move further forward in time to your last ten seconds within this lifetime. One, two, three. Three. It's your very last ten seconds. And just describe to me what you wear in your very last ten seconds of this lifetime. What you wear then? Sad. Sad, okay. I'm going to click my fingers and it'll be your last five seconds. But you can experience only what emotions you feel you want to experience right now. One, two, three. It's your last five seconds. Just sadness. Four uh, seconds. Three. Just tears. Two, one, and zero. Just passed over. What are you aware of right now, which you've just passed over? Darkness. Darkness. If I was to get you to look back now over your entire lifetime, would you feel the learning or the lesson was for that, that life? I don't know. You don't know. That's fine. I'm now going to take you back to the corridor where we first started from. One, two, three. Back to the corridor where you first started from. I'd just like you to let you know that all doors are shut to the lives. You can remember this experience with crystal clear clarity. Do you feel that you need any healing, emotional or anything from that? No, that's fine. In a moment, I'm going to awaken you from that nice, deep, relaxed state. I'm going to count from one to three, and on three, and only three, your eyes will be open, you'll be refreshed, you'll be alert, be ready for the rest of the day. Reinforcing every single positive thought you ever had about yourself, and knowing it's going to be a fantastic evening. All right now, one, coming aware of your hands resting comfortably. Two, small movements in your body, signal it's soon time to awaken on three, eyes open, alert, refreshed and ready for the rest of the night. You okay there? Mm, I feel really emotional. Do you want some water because that might, might help? God. <sighs> Thank you for doing that. <laughs> oh, God, I'd, well, I can't to cry. <sighs> so what was your favourite memory, anyway, with, with, with that, that lifetime that you, you were through, to get you away um, from that emotional feeling? Yeah, I just, oh, dear. Just at the beginning, in this field, it, it was lovely. It was like a summer's day, and there was just grass and flowers, and just free running. OK. God, I feel sorry. Did any of that make any sense to you whatsoever? No. Okay. No, I don't. I just don't know. We're weird. You okay? Yeah. Sure. I'm fine. <laughs> the times I've seen you do this, when you get to a number of, of an age, mm. and they say they don't know it, 
Yeah. You always go down because you know they didn't live t- past. Yeah, yeah I that didn't feel very so old. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I kept getting yeah. thirty-six in the head. Thirty-six before you even asked me. I just okay. thirty-six. Okay. Mm. Yeah, but I just felt. Do you think you were ill? No. Thing? No. No. Just I feel that Charles just died, mm. and I was heartbroken. Mm. That's what I felt like. I thought you were going to say he died in the war. I don't know, but I just yeah. felt... I just felt like I died of a broken heart. Mm. It was awful feeling. Mm. I thought I was going to cry, I really did. God.